couple of turnovers. Kennedy Brooks in the backfield, and they give it to him, running right with a lot of running room. Gets to the 40, first down and more. So a gain of 23, first down and 10. OU staying on the ground. Brooks once again at the 44. And they'll run it straight ahead. This is Jalen Hurts who slides down out of the gun. Hurts steps up in the pocket, wants to run it. He has a first down and more. Stutter steps and finally knocked out of bounds after picking up 11 yards. Jalen Hurts showing the great legs already. You're going to get man-to-man -man defense, and as OU runs a crossing route from the left, watch how the left side of the field is wide open. Now Hurts can just take it right up the field, get the conversion, easy read for the quarterback as he saw that defense fast flow all the way to his right. Second and 10 of the 27, Hurts firing to the far side, bobbled and caught Basquin and Nick Basquin. Lamb in motion. Hurts looks for CD in space. CD breaks it back. CD on his feet and knocked out of bounds around the two and a half yard line. Chris Brown gets him to the turf. And Oklahoma has to make a decision. And BJ Foster, who is out there as the safety, trying to bring him down. He is down and writhing in pain. He's the one right there that kind of has that arm kind of tugged back when C.D. Lamb spun around him as he dives and gets that ball all the way to the one yard line. What an incredible effort by C.D. Lamb. Sermon, six feet, 216 pounds with Hurts. Remember, Hurts has great legs. He'll run it to the right side on the move. Touchdown, OU. C.D. for the T.D. Just a quick route out to the outside. But watch number 14, Charleston Rambo. He sets this up by getting inside and almost creating a pick that is not actually a pick. Now the defender. Ellinger fires it out wide. Duvernay. And Duvernay chopped down. Great open field tackle. Turner Yell. Delarian, the sophomore from Hempstead, Texas. And this Texas offense is going to get one of their main weapons back today. Colin Johnson, we talked about it earlier in the pregame show. He's back after that hamstring injury. Again, they will go down the field to Colin Johnson all the time today. A loss of two, second and 12. Ellinger underneath. Duvernay again. Whoa! I don't know if that's a face mask, but he got grabbed around the head by Kenneth Murray. No flag on the play. Wow, no flag. Where is that left hand? Tell you what, that is a pretty good no call. That hand is on the jersey under the face mask. They now remember to touch the face mask. It's not just the face mask. If you pull the helmet or any part of the helmet, that can also be called. But they deemed that that hand was lower than the face mask and the helmet itself. Third down to 12 of the 30. Empty backfield for Ellinger. Sam under pressure. Ellinger sack. All right, how about this? Alex Grinch defense, Neville Gallimore getting to the quarterback. Texas three and out. There was one question about this team coming into this season, and really for the last couple of seasons, it has been can this defense improve to a level where this offense can go and compete for a national championship? The offense has been the best in the country for Oklahoma takes over with great field position at the 44. Hurts looking, delivers to the sideline. He's got an open receiver. C.D. Lamb once again. T.J. Pledger in the backfield. Play action. Hurts off his back foot. First and ten at the seven. After the turnover, Texas is Keontae Ingram running the ball. He's been dinged up. Nine catches a game. First down and ten of the 18. Ellinger. And incomplete. Finding some rhythm now. And they'll swing it out. Duvernay looking for room and Duvernay so far this season. Roshan Johnson in the backfield at running back. They give it to him to convert it. Third down and six at the 44. Johnson remains in the game as the pistol back. Ellinger hit and Ellinger will be tackled for a loss. 
Kenneth Murray got to him first. And that brings up fourth and long. Here he comes, just on the blitz from this side. They're trying to pull that guard, and number 75, Junior Ongilau, does not see the pressure. Murray's got a free run, and Ellinger's got virtually no chance in the backfield. Hurts sliding, delivers. Hurts caught. CD stays in bounds. 3.20 to go in the first half. Here's the handoff. Stevenson breaking tackles. It'll get down to the Texas 15. So gains of 22 and 15 yards on the last two plays for OU. They do such a good job of using the motion to create space, and then all of a sudden you get some clear out, and now you've got room to run on that left side. And Stevenson's able to gain positive yardage. That's another one of those ways that Lincoln Riley uses his formation and the motion or movement of the system in order to create space and gain yards. First down to the 17. Hurts, looking backside, nothing there. Hurts takes off, Jalen Hurts out of bounds, close to the Texas five, 19 yards. And it's good. And the Longhorns. Here's Ellinger to throw it on first down. Delivers, has a receiver. And incomplete. That one thrown a little late. As Trey Brown tracked the ball down while it was in the air. Eagles, the intended receiver. And Eagles had a step, but you're right. It was late and underthrown, and that's what allowed Brown to get back into position and ultimately get this ball knocked away. And he does a great job of not contact. Ellinger, 9 of 12, 71 yards. He'll throw it into the flats. Caught Ingram. And I tell you what, Ellinger now near side. Duvernay, he stood up and taken down. Another great open field tackle. Ellinger guns it underneath, incomplete. 6'3, 302 pounds, third and 11. Sam Ellinger under pressure. Oklahoma and in order to beat Alabama in order to beat Clemson this OU defense had to get better and they are looking better right now under Alex Grinch Gallimore the nose tackle he brought the center across and Murray comes around and screams in from the inside this is the exact pressure that they struggled with 10-3 our score here's Ellinger he'll run it straight ahead oh Ronnie Perkins met him in the hole. He'll hand it off. Johnson. Second down and eight at the 30. Here's Duvernay over the right side. No room because OU's Jaden Davis plugged up the hole. Dropped him. No gain on the play. Watch Jaden Davis. He's going to take on the back. This is Roshan Johnson, boom, he takes his outside shoulder and now there's nowhere for Duvernay to go and then he's got his help. Let's see how Oklahoma responds. First down at their own 25. Hurts off his back foot, C.D. Lamb turns it up. And C.D. Lamb close to the first down and a flag, whoa. Malcolm Roach. And let's hope that's not a targeting. It's going to be and oof, Gus. I've got to look up here. There's no doubt that it's going to be, and he's already taken off his helmet. He knows it. This is going to be certainly looked at further. Not only was it a touch late, as Lamb kind of goes down, but bam, mm. leads with the crown of his head. Remember. After the play, personal foul. And the Sir Russell's defense with targeting. Deep number 32. The 15-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. It stuffs the run. Second down and 10 at the 49. They'll run it again. A flea flicker. Hurts. Wide open. CD in space. CD Lamb still running. Hits a corner. CD for the TD. 51 yards.
We told you he was electric with the ball in his hands, and he doesn't disappoint. The flea flicker, the give inside to Brooks. He flips it back wide open over there. C.D. Lamb, look as he goes right inside, and then right here, the missed tackle, the strength he shows, and he gets all the way to the corner for the TD. This guy has a nose for the goal line like I haven't seen in a long time. Every time he touches the ball. Ellinger pulls it out, guns it underneath and incomplete. Back in half the distance, right in front of all these OU fans. Second and 13, Ellinger passing out of the end zone. Goes up top. Incomplete. Eagles dropped it again in front of Parnell Motley. So that's two drops on this series. Motley in coverage and watch see. He tried to one-hand that ball. I mean, that is perfectly thrown on the outside shoulder. You cannot throw a ball better than that, but he tries to one-hand it because Motley's got that right hand tied down to the hip. Third and 13. Ellinger running it out of the end zone. Wants just a little room as he goes down after a two-yard pickup. Ronnie Perkins brings him down. And now Texas will have to punt deep in their own territory. What a series from the OUD. Hurts. Rambo. Rambo following his blocks. And finally knocked out of play. Second and three. Hurts. Here's another easy one. Rambo again. First down. Great stiff arm for the sophomore from Cedar Hill, Texas. A day away. Deshaun Jamison combining on the tackle. Now what you're going to start to see is you see this great move. A little stiff arm boom right there. Doesn't grab the face mask. Just throws it. Burkich into attempt at 34 yarder. Good from 19 yards today. Two for two. On first down, Ellinger looking. Ellinger sacked again. The sixth sack of the day, Jalen Redmond. The redshirt freshman from Midwest City, Oklahoma. They're doing such a good job in coverage, but Redmond's on the outside, and he's just going to keep going and keep going. He's being double teamed, and he still gets home for the sack. Alex Grinch, the defensive coordinator for Oklahoma, told us he wants one thing out of this defense, max effort, and they have certainly delivered that here today. No excuses. Second and 15 at the 11. Sam Ellinger drops it off, caught Ingram, and he is wrapped up immediately. This Oklahoma defense looking like the Ohio State Buckeye defense. Ellinger in trouble. Incomplete. Pressure, pressure, pressure. The Oklahoma defense applying major pressure this time. Nick Benito. Benito, Redmond's also in there. Watch this. They're going to loop around again. Again, Texas against LSU. Gus, they were beaten by these loopers and the stunt from the outside coming right up the middle several times. And OU has taken that. Play fake. Hurts in trouble. Hurts. Can he break contain? Hurts still. By time. Delivers. Caught. CeeDee Lamb, but not enough for a first down. Brandon Jones denies him the first down. That was incredible. This ball was behind his back, and he somehow hangs on. Watch the hand strength. It's behind his back. He's trying to switch hands, and he does with Osai hanging all over him. And then he finds the completion down the field to C.D. Lamb. That is remarkable. This defense has done yeoman's work. Hurts on the play fake. Sets up deep in the pocket. Goes over the middle, and it's a wide open receiver. Hurts runs it this time. Jalen Hurts first down as he goes down. And here we are with one to go. Second down and one. And it's Hurts looking for the first down, and he has it. Here's the run. 
for Oklahoma. Brooks will gain maybe eight yards on the play. A sigh tackles him from behind. How about this block from Ramadre Stevenson? He's going to come up in a two-back set. Here's a tailback that goes and bam, right on the linebacker as if he's a fullback. That's a great block. Allows Brooks to get back outside for a nice run. Oklahoma with 189 yards rushing. Second and two at the 31. Brooks, first down. First and 10 at the 27. Hurts. Throws off his back foot again. C.D. Lamb. Touchdown, OU. C.D. Another TD. Ten catches. 171 yards. And three touchdowns for one of the best receivers in college football. Yo, this dude is an absolute beast. Are you kidding me? There's three Longhorns there that all have somewhat of a chance, and he still finds the end zone. The work that he has done in the weight room in the offseason is... Ellinger. And he's sacked again. This time, Marquez Overton. And that is sack number seven. He's going to come all the way from his defensive tackle spot. And another looper, another stunt for OU, moving this defensive front, and he gets home. Great coverage in the back end. Ellinger nowhere to go with the football. And again, uh, Texas is behind the chains. At the 12. Play fake. Ellinger. And nothing. Second and 13 at the 15. Brewer in motion. Elliger runs it this time. And Elliger crosses the line of scrimmage. Third and 12 of the 14. Elliger in the end zone. And incomplete. First down at the 25 for Jalen Hurts. Hands it off. Brooks. Whoa! Brooks sprinting. Still on his feet. And he goes down at the 32. A 43-yard run for Kennedy Brooks. Osai with the saving tackle. Here's where they're going to use the motion again. Watch them use the motion with C.D. Lamb. And then you're going to get out in front with the guard and the tackle pulling. You vacate one of those areas with the motion and the man-to-man. -man, and then Brooks is able to exploit it down that right side. Great block out there on the outside. That was Marquise Hayes, number 54. The left guard who was pulling out in front of Kennedy Brooks. Kennedy Brooks, eight carries, 96 yards. First down at the Texas 33 for Oklahoma. Trey Sermon, Stevenson in the backfield now. And they'll give it to Stevenson. He gets downfield. Stevenson still moving, and he's wrapped up inside the 10. First down and goal at the 9. And it's Brooks. And one thing, even up here, Hurts runs it straight ahead. Touchdown, OU. Jalen Hurts. What you got is man-to-man -man from both of those linebackers. And as soon as the middle linebacker runs into the middle of the line, that's Creed Humphrey, all Big 12 center. He gobbles him up right there. Boom. Number six is blocked. Juwan Mitchell and Hurts runs easily for it. From the 46. Suiters stay on the ground. Kennedy Brooks. Jalen Hurts runs it. Looking for the first down and has it. All right, here we go. Buckle up. It's college football. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my goodness. And OU's got to be feeling good about themselves tonight. Although, there's a good chance that man, Lincoln Riley, will have to meet that man, Tom Herman, again in the Big 12 championship later this year. But today in Red River, it's OU staying undefeated. And Gus showing some serious improvement on that defensive side to go along with that explosive offense.